So, today we will discuss types various types of discontinuities and then we will see the relation between continuity and compactness continuity and compact compactness ok. So, let us see first we know a function f x is said to be continuous at a point x naught belonging to the domain say E with subset of say x d if and only if limit of this function f x when x approaches to x naught exists and equal to the value of the function at a point x naught. Now, if this condition when we are saying limit of f x x tends to x naught equal to f x naught it means the function must have a limit when x approaches to x naught that is the left hand limit right hand limit both exist they are equal and the value of the function at the point x naught must coincide the value of the limit f x when x approaches to x naught then only the function will be said to be a continuous function. If any one of the condition fails that is if either the limit does not exist does not exist that is that is the left hand limit of this function when x x plus to x naught from the left hand side difference from limit of the function f x when x tends to x naught uh, from positive side then we say the limit does not exist at that point or maybe if the limit comes out to be infinity for that in that case one or limit exist limit exist but is different from different from the value of the function f x naught. So, when the limit does not exist left hand right limit right hand limit does not exist then also the function will not be continuous or if the limit exists, but its value is different from f x naught then also the point x naught will be said to be continuous or it may sometime happen the limit of this function f x when x tends to x naught and by tend to y naught both does not go to uh, I mean left hand limit also does not exist right hand also does not exist then also we say the point x naught is a point of discontinuity. So, if this case is there then x equal to x naught will be uh, considered as, as the point of discontinuity for the function f x. So, obviously, the point of discontinuity depends on the cases whether limit exists, but different from x naught then we name this point of discontinuity to some like a removable discontinuity. When the limit does not exist then we give some other name to the discontinuity or when the limit does not exist left hand and right hand limit does not exist we also give some other name or sometimes the limit tends to infinity then also we give sometimes uh, different names. So, according to the situation the type of discontinuities are characterized. So, first is let us see types of discontinuity. First is removable discontinuity, removable discontinuity. Okay. So, removable discontinuity if the function a function f x f x is said to have is said to have uh, removable discontinuity discontinuity 
at a point say x equal to x naught at a point x equal to x naught in the domain if if the functional limit if limit of f x when x tends to x naught from negative side equal to the limit of this function f x when x tends to x naught from the positive side they exist and both are equal means left hand limit is the same as the right hand limit so limit exists that is the limit exists and second one is the functional value f of x naught also defined is also defined but the third is the limit uh, uh, that is limit exist third is limit of this function f x when x tends to x naught is not equal to the value of the function at a point x naught then we say x naught is a point of discontinuity and we call it as a removable discontinuity why removable discontinuity because we can redefine the function again so that it can be the new function will be discontinuous will be continuous because the reason is the reason is the this function can be redefined redefined uh, can be redefined uh, redefined in such a way in such a way such a way uh, so that the new function becomes continuous that is if we define capital f x as our small f x when x is different from a uh, x naught and equal to the limit of the function f x when x tends to x naught then the new function f x so obtained will be a continuous function then f will be continuous f x has x naught as a continuous point So this uh, function f, uh, in this where the x naught was not uh, was a discontinuous point, can be converted to a continuous point by simply removing or redefining the function. For example, if suppose we take <coughs> uh, the function f x is defined as say x for 0 less than equal to x less than half equal to 0 for x is equal to half and equal to say 1 minus x for x lying between half open at half close at 1. So, over the interval 0 1 we are defining the function. So, the function is of this type this is 0. So, between 0 to half the function is a by equal to f x. So, it will be something uh, like this this is half this is half here is say half ok and then at the point half it is coming to be 0. So, basically this half this point is excluded here we are not touching half here it is coming down is it not and then from this point when x is not half just near to half it is start from here so we are getting this thing and then at the point 1 it is coming to be 0 this is 1 so what we see here except at the point 1 <laughs> it the function is very smooth function okay so, here if we look the limit of this function f x when x approaches to half minus then this is the same as the limit of the function f half minus h h tends to 0 from the left hand side you are approaching from here you are approaching 
So, take the point x is the half minus h. So, this is the point half minus h. Okay. So, consider this. Now, when the point is lying between 0 and half, the function is defined as x. So, this is equal to half minus h and then limit of this h tends to 0, which comes out to be half. So, from the left hand side, the value of this limit is coming to be half. Now, from the right hand side, if you look, limit f x, when x tends to half plus, then this is the same as to write limit h tends to 0, have f of half plus s, choose the point here, which is half plus h and then approached about this side. Okay. So, when the point is lying between half and 1, this interval is taken in consideration where the function is defined like 1 minus x. So, 1 minus this and then take the limit as h tends to 0. So, this comes out to be half minus h and then h tends to 0 which is equal to half. So, right hand limit and left hand limit both are coming to be same as half. So, limit exists. Therefore, limit exists. Limit of this function when x tends to say half exists okay. and equal to and and equal to half. But the value of the function at the point half is 0, which is different from the value of the function at a point half, sorry, at the point half, because the value at the point half is given to be 0. Here, we are limit value is coming to be half. It means this function has such a function where the limit exists, but the value of the function at that point is different from the limit. So, half becomes the point of disc removable discontinuity. So, x equal to half is the point is the removable discontinuity for this function f x. Okay? So, if we redefine the function instead of 0, if I redefine the function here, if I define redefine the function here, with value at x equal to half equal to half, then our function becomes continuous. So, that is why removal. Now, take another example suppose another one 2. Let us define the function f x h f x equal to f x equal to limit of this as n tends to infinity <coughs> cos to the power n pi x where x lying pi x, okay, where the x lies between minus 1 and 1. Okay. It is not covering uh, end points, open interval minus 1 to 1. Now, if we look the function, the function cosine of this function cosine pi x, when x lying between minus 1 to 1, the function phi f uh, pi x has the graph like this minus 1 to 1. When x is 0, when x is 0, cosine 0 is 1. Okay. So, when x is half pi by 2, the cos 90 is 0. Similarly, minus pi by 2, it is 0. So, it will be something like this. Okay, something like this and when x equal to minus 1, but it is not touching minus 1, it is not touching. In fact, this point is not attained. Okay. Similarly, this point is not attained. So, but when it is minus 1 and plus 1, the value is coming to be minus 1. <coughs> so, this is the graph of this function x and this y x. So, value of this, this is 1. Okay, x by is 1, 0, 1 in this is the 0, 1 point and here this point is say minus 1, minus 1 here this point is min 0, minus 1. So, cosine of this thing uh, for this function clearly cosine of pi x always lies between uh, minus 1 
2 plus 1 except for x equal to 0 where where the value is cosine 0 is 1. So, when x is different from 0 the value is always minus 1 2 plus 1 that is mod of cosine x will be less than 1 and then. So, this shows that mod, mod of cosine pi x will remain less than 1 for all x belonging to the interval minus 1 to 1 minus singleton set 0. This is our problem. Hence, limit of this function cosine pi x to the power n when n tends to infinity this limit will be 0 because this is always be less than 1. So, n is infinity it goes to 0 for all x belongs to minus 1 to 1 minus singleton set 0 and equal to 1 for x equal to 0. So, what uh, throughout this function attains the value 0. Okay, function is very smooth function it is continuous except at the point 0 because what happened this when you take the left hand limit of this left hand limit of this uh, function f x f x is cosine n to the power pi x limit of this this is f x. So, when you take the f x means 0 minus point the left hand side point it means the limit of this thing uh, limit of cos n pi 0 minus h just you take the 0 minus h and then uh, here. So, this number will be less than 1 mod of this. So, this will be 0 when you go from the outside the limit of this uh, sorry the function uh, limit of this function as n tends to infinity cos of n pi 0 plus h is also 0 that is f of 0 plus, but the value is entirely different from f of 0 because f of 0 is 1. Therefore, 0 their function 0 x equal to 0 is the point of discontinuity discontinuity and and it is a removable discontinuity removable discontinuity that can be easily seen for the okay at x equal to 0. So, this is the first kind of uh, discontinuity that is removed. the second type of discontinuity uh, we call it as a discontinuity of first kind of first kind discontinuity of first kind or sometimes we also call the ordinary discontinuity or ordinary ordinary discontinuity continuity ordinary discontinuity at this point. Okay. So, what we say is if the limit exist both the left hand and right limit exist, but they are different. If a function f x is said to have is said to have uh, a, is said to have uh, a discontinuity of first kind of first kind at the point x equal to x naught if if limit of this f x when x tends to x naught plus and limit of this f x when x tends to x naught minus that is right hand limit and limit, limit exist exist both the limit exist, but 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 they are but they are different from but different from have different values 
both exist but uh, uh, both exist but they are different we are different they are different means they are not equal that is left hand limit f x when x tends to x naught plus is different from limit of this function f x when x tends to x naught minus. So, both are different then x naught will be set to be a discontinuity of first kind. Okay. Now, since we are all in the continuity we also test the value of the function at a point x naught. So, suppose the value of the function at a point x naught which uh, is well defined and if it coincide with one of the either left hand limit or right hand limit then we further classify it. If the value of the function f x naught coincide with the right hand limit of this then we say so if further if if the left hand limit of the function f x when x tends to x naught minus coincide with the f x naught while the right hand limit of this function f x when x tends to x naught plus exist but different from the value of the function at f x naught then point x naught then point x naught is said to be is said to be ordinary discontinuity ordinary or discontinuity of the first kind discontinuity ordinary discontinuity on the right because uh, left hand limit coincide with the value so it is continuous from the left hand side but it's not continuous from the right hand side so what we say is x naught is a point of discontinuity of our kind one but from the right hand side. So, it is ordinary discontinuous from the right hand side. Similarly, if suppose similarly similarly if limit of this function f x when x tends to x naught plus coincide with the functional value f x naught while the right left hand limit exists but is different from the value of the function f x naught then we say <coughs> it is then x naught is said to be ordinary discontinuity ordinary discontinuity on the left on the left ok. So, that is for example, let us consider the function f x f x equal to x within small bracket where x within small bracket denotes the positive positive or negative or negative axis. negative axis of x over over the nearest integer nearest integer over the nearest integer and and when and when x is midway between the two conj x when x is midway between two consecutive integers consecutive integers then the value of this is 0 then the value of this is 0 it means what. So, it means like suppose we have the function say here is n here is n plus 1 let us take these two consecutive integer then this point is n plus half it is the middle point for this interval if the x lies here the value of this x will be denoted by x minus n okay so x minus n 
if x lies here then in that case the value will be denoted by x minus n plus 1. So, that is the x is defined as x is defined as x minus n when x lies between n and n plus half. Okay? When x lies between n and n plus half, the nearest integer is n. So, in that case it will be it subtracted from n, x and we get x minus n. But when x lies between n plus half to n plus 1, then nearest integer will be n plus 1. So, in that case the this will be defined by x minus n plus 1. So, that will be the uh, difference for this. And when x is exactly equal to n plus half, then what happen? If x is exactly n plus half, the value of this is given to be 0. So, this is the graph. Okay? So, if we look the graph, <coughs> what is that? <coughs> Suppose I am taking the positive side. So, let us take the interval 0 half 1 and then uh, 3 by 2 then 2 uh, 2 5 by 2 like this and so on. Now, between the interval 0 to half between 0 to half what is this? This curve will be like if x lying between 0 and half. So, here n is 0. So, it will be defined as x only that is the curve will be something like this. Okay. But, it does not cover uh, contain this point and as well as it does not contain this point because x is lying between 0 and strictly 0. And 0. Okay. Now, take this as soon as the point comes over here what is this value? This is coming to be x minus 1 x minus 1. So, it is like this when x minus 1 and x equal to half the value will come out to be below. So, below minus 1 and when it is 1 1 then it is coming to be 0. So, basically this line will be by minus x. So, here between x minus the curve the function f x the uh, so hence hence we can say the uh, graph of the function the positive value of x for positive values of x for positive values of x uh, the graph hence the graph of x will consist of <coughs> consist of the lines y is equal to x y equal to x in between uh, 0 to 1 when in the over the interval 0 in half then it will consist x minus 1 over the interval half to 1 and continuous like this x minus 2 over the interval say and this interval is 3 by 2 half to 3 by 2 sorry it will go like this <coughs> because here it will start from this and then it will go from here directly uh, 1. So, it will go something like by minus x and then 3 by 2 3 by 2 something. Okay? So, we get this one and then 3 by 2 to 5 by 2 like this 3 by 2 to 5 by 2 and so on continue this. So, this is the graph for this and remember these endpoints are not available here. At the point integers point the value is coming to be what? When it is integers say n n n plus 1 and uh, n n n this value is again defined as uh, say uh, integers positive or negative is it not? So, x minus x is integer it becomes the 0 for that. Okay? So, that is what is going. Now, what we see here is whenever the point is suppose I take the point n to n plus 1. Okay, so, let us take this n here is n plus 1 and here is n plus half. So, what will be the left hand limit of this function when x is 
n plus so the value of limit of this function fx when x tends to n n plus half this is the point from negative side from the negative side when you say then what will be this the function will have the when this side it will be x minus n type so we get the x minus n n type n type but x is n plus half so basically this is equal to uh, equivalent to this is n plus half minus n so basically this is half so when you are taking the function this function is this one is it not so limit of this means x equal to x plus h so here you write x n plus half plus uh, minus h so we can say this will be equal to uh, that is here we can write it that x equal to n plus half minus h and then minus n and limit of this thing is it not when h tends to 0 so basically it comes out to be half so when you are choosing the limit from the negative side the value is coming to be plus 1 then when you are taking limit of this function fx when x tends to n plus half positive side then this will be equal to what n plus half plus h minus next term will be n plus 1 this term will be subtracted and taking the limit s tends to 0 so minus n will go and basically it will come out to be minus 1 so right hand limit comes out to be minus 1 and what is the f of n plus half is exactly coming to be 0 because on the middle point we are taking already assuming to 0 so function therefore therefore the function fx has ordinary discontinuity discontinuity discontinuities for x equal to n plus half n plus half where n is an integer similarly for the negative side we can get for this okay so this is the point of inter uh, ordinary discontinuity or discontinuity of the first kind let's take another example suppose i take which is very f uh, interesting and famous one uh, always we used a box function where fx equal to box x where box x we mean the get denotes the denotes the gettest integer greatest integer greatest integer uh, not greater than not greater than not greater than x not greater than x so get as integer not greater than x so let's see what is the graph of this if you look the mod x graph the graph of this uh, function fx is this fx is this one now when x lying between 0 and 1 the greatest uh, x does denote the greatest integer not greater than 1 so what is the integer is only 0 it means the curve will be like this okay it will start from the 0 but it will not touch 1 it will not touch 1 so we have this gap now from 1 to 2 when you take 1 to 2 then the greatest in x denotes the greatest integer means the integer not exceeding by x so 1 is the integer so here we are getting the graph like this start it here up to go this here again this point is not is missing then 3 so when you got the 3 you get again this one again this point is missing where well, this is 3 and continue similarly when you take minus 1 you are getting something like this is it not and so on so forth okay like this so this is like a step function it's a step function obviously integral points are the point of discontinuities so the graph function then we say mm, yeah so what is the graph of the functions for the positive x consists segment of line okay 
the left hand limit and what not there. Now, clearly here when you take the limit of this function f x when x tends to n is an integer say 0 n plus then this value will be what this is equal to n plus h and limit h tends to 0 ok. But n plus h lies between n and n plus n. So, basically this is n h tends to 0 is it not because the greatest integer is only n. So, limit of this when you take the n plus 0 it is n. The limit of this function from the left hand side x tends to n minus n is integer let n be a positive integer. I am just taking any integer but positive integer let us take then we get for the negative one. Then the negative side left hand limit of this this is the right hand limit. So, left hand limit will be n minus h and limit h tends to 0, but n minus h is strictly less than n. So, it lies in the interval n minus 1 to n. So, this limit will come out to be n minus 1 is it not and what is the f of n? f of n is 0 f of n that is oh sorry f of n will be what integer. So, it is sorry n. So, f of n is so what give we say limit left hand limit exists right hand limit exists, but they are not equal they are not equal. So, every integral point every integers integral point is the point of is the point of discontinuity of first kind ok. Now, here one more thing is since the limit of f x when x tends to n plus is n which coincide with the value of the function. So, it has a continuity in the right hand side discontinuity in the left hand side. So, we say it is a discontinuity on the left therefore, therefore, f x has ordinary discontinuity 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 on the left on the left uh, for all integral values integral values for all integral values uh, uh, left of all, all integral values of x, but, but is continuous on is continuous on the right at these points at these points. So, this is a, <coughs> the third type of the continuity discontinuity will be we call it as a discontinuity of second kind. Second kind ok. Now, what is this discontinuity of the second kind? When the limit of this uh, left hand limit, right hand limit uh, both does not exist that is uh, a function f x is said to have a discontinuity of second kind at a point x equal to x naught if the left hand limit and right hand limit if left hand limit or right hand limit uh, both if both left hand or right hand limit both do not exist do not exist ok. They are definitely and uh, left hand limit do not exist right hand limit do not exist. In fact, so neither left exist nor right exist. So, what happened that for example, if we take the um, ok 
f x equal to say sin 1 by x. This we have seen already this function. What is the behavior of the function? If I look this function here x this is y and just I am taking uh, say here y is equal to 1 y is equal to say minus 1. Okay. Now, graph of this function if you look the graph the graph will be something like that uh, say here something like this is it not and as soon as it comes here it is very very closed very very closed and like this, but it never touch it here. Okay. Similarly, here this is very very closed okay very very closed for this and something like this something like this so only at this means around the point 0 it gets so much uh, congested and frequently it going up and down very fast that is x near to x equal to 0 it has a sudden jump at this point it has value 1 immediately in the nearby point it has a value minus 1 so it has a sudden jump near at the point x equal to 0 in the neighborhood of 0. So, let us see the we claim that this uh, x equal to 0 is the point of discontinuity of second kind. Let us see suppose I take positive side value first you take x is greater than 0. Okay. Then if I take the number x equal to say 1 uh, by 4 n plus 1 pi by 2. Okay. So, what happened this? Uh, sin function we know sin pi by 2 is 0 then because if we take the graph of the sin function this is the graph of the sin function sin 0 is 0 like this. So, sin 0 is 0 sin pi is 0 sin 2 pi is 0 sin 3 pi is 0 and so on, but sin pi by 2 this is the point pi by 2 where it has a positive value 1 sin of this thing 2 pi plus 5 by 2 that is 5 pi by 2 it has a 1 value then again this 3 pi it 4 pi so it is 9 pi by 4 pi plus pi 9 uh, 9 uh, by 2 pi then this value the function has a value 1 so when it is pi by 2 sin uh, sin of 3 pi by uh, pi by 2 sin of 5 pi by 2 and so on the value of this is uh, sorry is 1 is 1 and then if we look the sin 3 pi by 2 sin 3 pi by 2 this is our 3 pi by 2 this value 3 pi by 2 here it is 7 is it not 7 pi by 2. So, 3 pi by 2 sin 7 pi by 2 and so on the value is coming to be minus 1. It means when the point x so 1 by x is this. So, x is very very near n is sufficiently large the point is very close to 0. So, it when it has the value n is the function so, this function f x has the value 1 when n is equal to what? n is 0, n is 1, n is say 2 and like this and equal to minus 1 when n is what? n is here say 3 pi by 2. So, we are getting n is equal to uh, say if I choose the function uh, f x if we take uh, if we take x is equal to 1 by 4 n minus 1 pi by 2 then then the value of the function f x is minus 1 for n is equal to 1 n equal to 2 which 8 minus 7 pi by 2 and like this continue. <coughs> so, we have a sequence of the 
<coughs> point approaching towards 0 where the function has a sudden jump plus 1 to minus 1 and like similarly in the left hand side. So, this function we said the limit of this function f x which is sin x when x tends to 0 minus that is limit of this sin 1 by x when x tends to 0 minus does not exist. Similarly, limit of this function similarly limit of this function f x when x tends to 0 plus is does not exist 0 plus uh, sorry 0 minus here 0 plus does not exist. So, x equal to 0 is the point of discontinuity of second type kind second kind. So, this is what we are there are some other also uh, functions we can go at. Now, one more function we say uh, we say that uh, uh, of course, this is uh, not very uh, important, but it still we if one or the more function at alpha is infinitely great if either left hand limit left hand limit or right hand limit right hand limit is inf indefinitely great indefinitely Great means very large it goes to infinity when this left hand or right hand limit goes to infinity then in that case the function f then f x is said to have is said to have an infinite discontinuity discontinuity at the point x equal to x naught. For example, suppose I take the function f x which is 1 minus x minus say x naught okay? and the value of this at the point x naught I am choosing to be 0. Now, what happens? If you take the limit of this function f x when x approaches to x naught from the negative side then this is the same as 1 over x naught minus h minus x naught limit s tends to 0 is it not. Now, this is equal to what? This is nothing but tends to minus infinity tends to minus infinity because this value will go to basically x naught cancel and h is sufficiently small. So, it goes to minus infinity and when you go to the plus side f x when limit x tends to x naught plus side we have x naught then what happens is limit x naught plus h minus x naught and then h tends to 0. So, this will be tending to plus infinity. So, what is the left hand limit or right limit or any both of them if goes to very large infinity then point x equal to x naught is a point of discontinuity for this okay? infinite discontinuity of this of at x equal to 0. Okay. And then, uh, uh, so almost this uh, we have covered uh, one uh, small examples which we can prove uh, the results. Uh, of course, without proof we can just say uh, in the neighborhood of in the neighborhood of a point of discontinuity discontinuity in the neighborhood of the point of discontinuity uh, of the second kind of the second kind uh, the function the function uh, makes an infinite makes an infinite 
number of oscillations. Oscillations. Because the reason is very simple, when you take the limit of the function either from the left hand side or right hand side, then you get a uh, sequence approaching toward that function, where along a different sequence you have a different values. So, in fact, if x naught is the point of discontinuity of second kind, then we can get one sequence where the limit of the function will be say alpha 1, then another sequence will be obtained where the limit of the sequence is minus something say alpha 2 or something. So, there is a sudden jump makes an infinite number of oscillation. So, that is the case of this. Second is of course, proof you can go through that is very not difficult. The set of points the set of points of removable discontinuity removable discontinuities of a function of a function is countable is countable Okay. The reason is proof is very really like this. Suppose that S, uh, if the set S, suppose the set S, which is the function, yeah, set of those function x, where f x has has removable discontinuity, has removable discontinuity. Okay, let S be this. Suppose S is not countable. S is not countable. Then it has a component. Then it has a component. Say B. B, which is dense in itself. In itself. Okay, that we a point alpha b is such that any one said that. Hmm. So a point alpha we can find a point alpha of the set b b is such is such that in any so a point alpha is such that in any neighborhood in any neighborhood of alpha in any neighborhood of alpha uh, on one side on one side there are there are infinite there are infinite number of points number of points infinite number of points at which at which the functional values limits at which the functional limits functional limits are all equal or all equal but are different from what are different from functional value from the functional value at that point at that point. Therefore, alpha is a <coughs> is a point of discontinuity of second kind point of discontinuity of second kind which is a contradiction, which is a contradiction, because we have assumed the alpha as a point removable continuity uh, discontinuous point. Therefore, our assumption is long. So, the set S is countable. Similarly, 
another result is the set of points set of points of ordinary discontinuity that is discontinuity of the first kind discontinuities of a function each countable that's all thank you very much clear so proof is just based on this and thank you very much.